Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to create expander slider in Visual Basic 2008 or Visual Basic 2010. Um, first of all I want to thank to Bram Bears Fall for commenting on my expander video and telling me about this code. So all the credits for the code go to him. So here's a link um, to his channel. Um, so here's an example. Um, of what I'll be teaching you today. So I'll be teaching you how to use his code properly without getting errors. So we have a Windows form with a button which says expand and if we click if we click on it it will expand slide expand our form and change the button text compress and if you click on compress it will return the form height to its uh, start height. Um, so the code is very simple and before writing any code you want to uh, make sure that you have locked the height and width and max maximum and minimum size of your form. So when you declare your start, start height and width, in my case it's 300 by 85, you want to go to properties and look for minimum size and maximum, actually maximum size and minimum size and put them to that um, declared size. After that you want to add a button and change, the, change its text to whatever you want. Um, if you check my videos you will find a video about expander, custom control expand button which I crea created so you can use that with this slide effect also. Next you want to double click the expand button which will take you to button click private sub and you want to add this code over here so first of all you want to declare an if statement so if button one that text equal expand then now you want to declare the new maximum size which will be when your form is expand um, I use 300 by 300 you can use whatever you want so me that maximum size is new size 300 by 300 while me that height is less than that new height you want less than 300 me that height plus equal one and button one that text equals compress so if you if you use two buttons um, you don't actually need this line you can uh, put something like um, button two that visible equal true but one that visible equals false and everything so um, yeah and after a while you wanna add me that minimum size equals new size 300 by 300 else um, you want to go with else, not with if, because it will act nuts. Try to do this with one more if statement. If button one the text compressed, then uh, this code over here. You will see what will happen. Really weird. So else, me that minimum size equals new size. So you want to type in the your starting size. While did while me that height more than 85, me that height minus equal one and button what the text equal expand and while and now you want to declare your maximum size so that's basically it so let's just check it check the code one more time so expand compress so thank you for watching this video that's all um, here's one more time a uh, link to Bram Payer's full channel thank you for watching have a nice good day and goodbye